Next Thursday's Senate by-election contest in Homabi County could be a make-or-break moment for opposition boss Raila Odinga. So significant is the electoral exercise that he has camped in the county to drum up support for ODM's flag bearer Moses Kajuang, whose nomination triggered rifts in the Orange Party. Odinga has been accused by a section of Homabe County residents and politicians of imposing a candidate on them. They have vowed to reject Kajuang at the ballot to teach the former Prime Minister a political lesson in next week's polls. Kajuang will face seven candidates at the ballot, among them Mungano Development Party's Philip Okundi and National Agenda Party's Fred Rabongo, who jumped ship after he was handed the ODM certificate through direct nomination. <laughs> And as the county's 332,000 registered voters prepare for Thursday's date with the ballot, ODM leaders now claim that IABC and the Jubilee Coalition had hatched a plan to rig the poll in Okundi's favor and portray Odinga as a leader who had lost grip in South Nyanza region. We have information that the list of the clerks and the presiding officers were drawn by Philip Okundi and Reggae and transferred to them. All candidates in this race were called by IBC the other day for IBC only to turn around and complain that ODM is campaigning too much. So we are telling them that we will continue campaigning and it is not the role of uh, IBC to campaign. Let them wait and count the votes. A loss for Kajuan could leave Odinga with egg on his face and dent his image as he prepares for yet another shot at the presidency in 2017. A victory for Kajuang will consolidate Odinga's influence in the Nyanza political stronghold. Nairobi Governor Dr. Evans Kidero is backing Okundi's senatorial bid, and so are two lawmakers from Homabe County, Karachonyos James Rege and George Oner of Rangwe. But I'm here because it is not about Moses Kajuang. It is about Raila Ding and Uhuru Kenyatta and 2017. With claims of rigging already emerging, ODM plans to deploy at least 80 members of parliament from the Code Coalition and more than 300 members of the county assembly to monitor next Thursday's exercise. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.